Next, we'll see the reactions of epoxides in acidic medium. Now, let's take an example. We have a compound. We have this epoxide. And we have kept it in the acidic medium. Acidic medium as H plus and H2O. Now, just to uh, understand the flow of reaction, I'll take H2O with oxygen 18 so that you can understand where the ox where this oxygen is going this is oxygen 16 and this is oxygen 18 now what will happen here is this hydrogen will attack on this oxygen's lone pair and will form will form a molecule like this will form a compound with this transition state Now once this still form, oxygen will get, will become unstable and will try to break its bond. Okay, if it will break, if it would have broken its bond, it would have formed a carbocation. But even before a carbocation is formed, this H2O will attack on the more crowded carbon, and because it cannot do the front attack because oxygen is still there, it will do a back attack. So what is happening over here? Even before even before carbocation forms, H2O will attack. So it will not wait for carbocation formation. Where it was the most, pro what, which was the most probable and stable site for formation of ca uh, carbocation, this carbon, if the bond would have broken between oxygen and carbon, this carbocation would have been a better stable carbocation. So, what will happen? This H2O will come and attack on this carbon only. It cannot do the front attack because oxygen has still not left the site and hence will do a back attack. So this is the reason why we call it SN1 type reaction but not exactly SN1. Because in SN1 the formation of carbocation does take place. Here we are not forming any carbocation. Instead even before the carbocation can form your nucleophile will come and attack onto the carbon. And hence the, uh, hence the attack is going to be a back attack but not a front attack. So the molecule will get an attack of H2 over here and this will form this is oxygen 16 so bond between this once this H2 attack will happen this will be formed O plus H and H and this bond between oxygen and carbon will break this is oxygen 18 to stabilize its charge to stabilize its plus charge this oxygen will break one of its bond with hydrogen and eventually will get converted into OH and OH this is oxygen 16 and this is oxygen 18 with the release of with the release of H plus so this seems to be like SN1 but it is not purely SN1 write down the key points uh, for this reaction the first point is first point of this reaction carbocation formation will not take place carbocation formation will not take place when epoxide reaction will happen in acidic medium. Carbocation formation will not take place when epoxide will react in acidic medium. Second point, nucleophile will do a back attack on the carbon where the leaving group is present nucleophile will do a back attack where the leaving group is present nucleophile will do a back attack on the carbon where leaving group is present and this back attack and this back attack will happen even before even before 
a carbocation can form. Next, it is an SN type SN1 type reaction. It is an SN1 type reaction, but not purely SN1. It is SN1 type reaction, but not purely SN1. Next, inversion of configuration, inversion of configuration will take place. Inversion of configuration will take place. Now we'll take, now we'll do two examples, we'll do two questions. This will help us in understanding whether we have got the concept well or not. I'll just write down the question, you try it out and uh, uh, once you're done, I'll discuss. Now note, the, note down these two questions and try solving them on your own. Now let's discuss the solution for these. Now again, as we already know that H plus will attack on this oxygen, will convert it into OH plus and now even before a carbocation can form this H2O will attack on the more crowded carbon even before a carbocation can form. So this will attack on this carbon eventually breaking the bond between oxygen and hydrogen. So the compound form will be OH, this is O16 and here it will form OH18. In this, oxygen 16 is here and oxygen 18 is here. In next question, let's again check out. Again oxygen will come to the ox uh, hydrogen will come to the oxygen and will convert this molecule to The configuration of this carbon is S and configuration of neighboring carbon is R. Now even before my oxygen can break a bond with either of the carbon and can form a carbocation, H2O will attack on the more crowded carbon or the carbon where more stable carbocation could have formed. It will attack on that carbon and will break the bond between oxygen and carbon. So, which position is uh, is the best suited for forming a stable carbocation? This particular position. So, H2O will attack over here. Will give you the product as and this attack is going to be a back attack as we have already discussed. And because the carbocation formation is not happening, no rearrangement is also possible. So, this reaction will go without any rearrangement. So, not this reaction, I mean any reactions what we are doing in the acidic medium will not have any rearrangement in it. So, this will be, the compound formed will be so because the back attack has happened, inversion of configuration will also take place. For this carbon, the configuration before was S, now it will become R. And for the other carbon, the configuration will retain and it will still remain R. So here, inversion of configuration has taken place and here, retention has happened. I hope all of you have understood how, these, how the mechanism is working for this reaction. Ask me if you have any doubt.